Yeah, the nice guy is a person who believes he's not okay just as he is. And, and, and there's usually two factors to that. One is he thinks he has to become what he thinks other people want him to be, to be liked and loved and get his needs met, and hide anything about him that might cause people to respond negatively to him, to reject him, get angry, hurt him. And usually the things that nice guys, at least the men I work with, hide the most are their needs, their wants, and their sexuality. And, and it's like, I have to keep those hidden from people because if people knew I had needs, wants, uh, perverted sexual wishes, you know, they would think badly of me. And for I think the majority of the men I work with, these belief systems got internalized at a really early age. I, I mean, a few weeks, few months, few years old. They inaccurately internalized um, the experiences that they were having as children, as infants, with, it, with their parents, with family, with society, with culture, as they weren't good enough. There's something wrong with them. So I, I better become good, and I better hide any badness about me. And then that gets really solidified during adolescence, when we get interested in the opposite sex, whatever the opposite sex might be to us. And then into young adulthood, is pretty well entrenched in the way we go about choosing a mate, choosing career, how we interact with people, uh, in general, in the workplace. And so it, it, it's those two key things. Because there's something wrong with me, I have to become good, uh, avoid conflict, get other people's approval, and hide anything about me that might get a negative response.